everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Dark Souls the Board Games Character Expansion. Yay! This is one of the Kickstarter stretch goal expansions and part of the hopefully final wave three of the Kickstarter. So this was free for anybody who backed the game, but what's this on top? Hmm. This was actually taped on, so hey, here it is. It's a coin from, well, the game. I won't be surprised if it's meant to represent a threat coin or it's just a collector's coin, but it is Dark Souls the board game, is what that says on there. And it's got the Soul of Cinder, I believe, on the other side, which last I remember is the threat token. It's been a long time since I've played, but it still looks kind of cool. Very rustic. Like, looks like it's a rusted over coin. So, this is an expansion that was very much needed, and honestly, um, yeah, like the fact that there was only four character classes, none of which is with the starting range ability from what I remember. Yeah, this was really needed. And this is not only the character expansion, this is the armor set expansion. No idea how that will work, but it is still all of this stuff. Six new classes and then the ten armor sets. And one of them is the Deprive. Alright. So, we've got an expansion booklet to begin with, which covers basic rules, and it even has a character note section that is slight summary of what these characters might do. Uh, and yes, all six are in there. And then the next page was clarifications slash rules on how to use the armor sets. So, we've got the Deprived. Mr. Naked Dude gets a club and maybe a shield. But honestly, in the video game, the Deprived was a little bit of an extra challenge, but really, if you wanted the best blank slate, this is what you wanted in the video game. Thief was... looks like a... usually a ranged character. The game never really had a lot of stealth, which is something I was hoping for. My... I think this was my original class back in Demon Souls, or some equivalency of this class. And yeah. So here's hoping for some backstabby stuff, but we already had that with the Assassin. Cleric, so hopefully we've got a semi-dedicated healer. Sorcerer, ranged magic, hopefully. Pyromancer, other ranged magic, hopefully. And Mercenary, usually a dual wielder of sorts in various other things. Mercenary changes from game to game, last I remember. Alright, then we got some small cards. There are no standard size cards here. And from what I recall from looking at the back before, all of these are from Dark Souls 1. They may get reused in Dark Souls 2 or 3, but they are all from Dark Souls 1. I could be wrong, but we'll go over that later. And I don't know if there's multiple languages here. This literally might just be a stack of cards for the game in general, including what I noticed right away were transposed items, the ones you add after you beat the mini boss, which I have not seen in any of the expansions. I don't recall one in Dark Root, and I definitely haven't seen one in any of the others, which I've unboxed recently. But yeah, this looks like, oh boy, just lots of stuff. So yay, more items and item variants. The Item deck, as I've stated in the past, is one of the biggest flaws in the game, and is the main reason the game kind of falls apart unless you do something with the item deck. Otherwise, the game works kind of fine. But the biggest thing beyond that is it doesn't play like Dark Souls, the video game. You want that, go get Kingdom Death. Or just play more of the video game. But, yeah, just, these look a lot like the armor sets. These first few, like, we've got the Embraced Armor of Favor. The Adventurer's Armor, which I think is the Mercenary. Or not the Mercenary. Uh, the Dark Armor. Crimson Robes. The Black Knight Armor. The Black Iron Armor. Love that set. The Guardian Armor. Awkward Clumsy Armor. You're immune to bleed with that. Nice and simple. Havel's Armor. Oh god, I love this set. 
Onion Knight, which is the Katarian armor. And Golden Hem Black Robes. When I first played Dark Souls 1, I actually went with this one for a long, long time. And then there's a repeat of them. These aren't in other languages. The main difference is... So here, uh, the icon is the normal items icon. In fact, I should just show the back. This one has... Oh, it's different on the back. Or it's the same on the back. Has a sword with basically a bonfire sword through it. But it looks like all the same ones. I don't know if the stats are different or anything. Yes, the, these are different. Um, I can't. Rem I'm assuming better because they have a higher requirement to them. But I can't remember what colors were better for dice. It's been a long time. That's one of the reasons, by the way, that the overview videos have been delayed. Is I need to review the game in general and remind myself everything about it before I get to doing the ones over the new stuff. But then we get into what looks like, I'm guessing, are the class decks. Yes, so the Thief, if I'm correct, gets Black Hand Armor, a Show Tilt, that melee weapon that ignores shields, the Obscuring Ring, and a Small Leather Shield. Then there are its transposed items, which I'm not going to go over here, otherwise this will take a long enough time. Then I'm guessing the Cleric... Because, oh boy, a bunch of holy spells. Who doesn't start with armor at all. Or a weapon. But has med heal, sunset shield. Although in this game, shields are weapons. And that is kind of how they were in the video game. Sacred Oath and Magic Barrier. Good to see more spells. This game did not have enough spells or range abilities to begin with. And it only has one transposed item. Great heal. Then I'm guessing the Mercenary is next, who only has two items to start with, the Black Leather Armor and Ring of Favor, and two transposed items. Surprised the Thief has so many. I might have gotten that wrong. Pyromancer, when we get the Great Swamp Ring, at least it's fitting. I won't be surprised that these are out of order, honestly, but... And then it has... Two transposed items. The sorcerer just gets a Pharon Flash Sword. Huh, don't ever remember hearing about that one. But it's got a lot more transposed items. Three spells and a ring. And the deprived actually gets stuff. The binoculars and buckler. And funny enough, has the Karthus Milk Ring for a transposed item. Oh, okay, yes, stuff is separated, some other starting items. Oh, I'm silly. Those are the deck items. Those aren't the starting items. That's how long it's been since I've gone over this stuff. The Thief starts with an Iron Round Shield. The I, I Yeah, this stuff is all sorts of out of order. Like, here's the weapons. Man, I'm just... Gonna save some time and not. Boy. But we've got. Okay, so I'm not gonna bother listing where these are from anymore. But we've got stuff like the Iron Round Shield, a Mace, Sacred Chime, Royal Dirk, Cleric's Candlestick, Morn's Great Hammer. Seriously, because of the Cleric, it's a transposed item to be added later. Yeah, these make a lot more sense now. I'm going to actually skip the rest of these and find the star actual starting items. Uh, um, now I won't be surprised if the Deprived has nothing, but... Oh, come on. Where is all this stuff? Because nothing said about swap items at in and out. So, yeah, these are not organized well. Uh, so, when I get to a detailed overview video of this stuff, I'll be able to go over those more, but... This is just an unboxing video. So, Thief has the short bow to start with, and a bandit knife, as well as the Desertur armor. Again, I'm assuming that the key is the Thief. The blue wooden shield and cleric's robes are also for the cleric, of course. Cell sword twin blade. There's actually two of those instead of it just being a dual wielded item, even though that's what the image is. Hope that's an misprint. Wooden shield and cell sword armor are also there for the mercenary, of course. Pyromancer has the hand axe, 
Carcetus Round Shield and Pyromancer's Garb. Oh, and the Pyromancer's Flame. Every Pyromancer needs that. I think there was one in the core game. The Sorcerer has a Mail Breaker, Leather Shield, Sorcerer's Robe, and Sorcerer's Catalyst. And this makes some more sense. The Deprived starts with what it actually starts with in the video game. The Club, the Plank Shield, and a Line Cloth. Nothing else. Although that's still a decent amount for the board game, that is all you start with in the video game. Minus the other categories like treasured item and such. Alright, so on to the minis, because again, miniatures game. Hey, you are my- oh, seriously? Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so I was gonna say tape, you are my enemy, which it is. But for some reason they bothered taping it down and then underneath. What the hell, guys? At least it looks like they only taped it on two sides this time. Again, this stuff is pointless to tape. It fits snugly in the box. And if in packing, you guys have trouble getting things to, you know, not be a mess, I think you need to get things more organized. Understanding that they themselves are not doing it. Oh, no, I was not. Okay, it was stuck on the card holder. All right. So, I'm going to actually take this back out of the box because I can't remember the names of half of these, and they're all listed on the back. But we've got the Mercenary. Sorcerer. Very nice and simple. The Pyromancer. The Cleric. And these very much look like they're Dark Souls 1's counterpart. The Thief. And the last of the classes being the Deprived. Practically naked dude with a... More than a wooden plank, at least. At least has cross pieces on it to hold it, to stabilize it together. Alright, and then into the actual armor sets, we've got the gold trim black robes. You find these in one of the most awkward spaces in the game. The Katarina set, aka Onion Knight. Onion, 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 onion. Some games are useless, some games, what the hell. Havel, or Havel's set. The Guardian set, also known as, I think, Stone Guardian, because that's what you get them from. Embraced Armor's Favor. Kill this guy when you see him. No, not really. That's just what a lot of people say. Do what you want with him. Dark Armor. Evil dudes, we're all here to steal your souls. Crimson Robes. These guys did horrible things. For the good of nothing, really. Black Iron Set. Always love the look of this set. The Black Knight, not Silver Knight. Black Knight Set. That's going to be stupidly easy to paint. And the Explorer Set. Which is, just looks like a bunch of hodgepodge pieces together. But that's all of them. So it's six characters, brand new classes, boards, everything. And ten armor sets. Still not sure how those work. It said something about there's two ways to use them. But whatever. I'll make sure to cover that in an overview video when and if I get to it. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press that like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, feel free to share this video. Either way, you'll help this video get seen more. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press that dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as if you'd like to see any of this done sooner rather than later as an overview video, or for painting. Because honestly, next up is going to be Dark Root for both painting and overview, so one thing at a time. But unless people want to see stuff earlier.
or if you'd like to talk about Dark Souls in general, or the entire series or anything like that. And if you'd like to see more like this, such as my unboxing videos, my board game overview videos, my painting videos, all three of which I do for Dark Souls board game, and anything else that I might do on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.